Hi, how you doing? This is Louie coming at you once again. A uh, little quick thought. I learned a, a very important lesson yesterday. And the lesson is, is no matter how much sense you try and talk to people, some of them just don't want to listen. They don't want to hear what you've got to say. They don't want to understand what you're saying makes sense. And the ones I'm referring to are your anti-gun, pro-immigration, pro-illegal immigration, um, all that. They, they, those people, they don't want to hear what makes sense. They think with their emotions instead of with their common sense. Uh, one of the people I'm talking about is a clinical psychiatrist who has what, eight years of college at the very least? Because I believe a psychiatrist has to go through med school before they can do a specialty, which is, in her case would be the mind. And what I've learned, and this isn't true for all college-educated individuals, um, but what I've learned is a lot of them lose their common sense when they get all that education. Excuse me. I got it. Just go. They uh, lose their common sense when they get all that education. And it's a shame because if you could get a rich person with common sense, you've got something. But you don't have it. Not with this. some of these people. Go on. Um, the thing is, we were discussing, she and I were in the wife were discussing uh, illegal immigration and she's all she's all for it she wants open borders she wants this she wants that but what she's not understanding is the money that we sp that is spent to support these people comes out of my pocket and every other working individual's pocket it comes out of your taxes and when there's no money to do this they raise your taxes simple it's a simple thought and quite frankly, you raise taxes enough, people won't be able to make it. All right. On top of that, when you get a lot of immigrants that work for lower wages, then the wages of the Americans come down. They drop. The last time we had a big wave of immigrants, immigrants coming back in, I want to say the 70s. I'm not sure. You have to check that. Uh, Wages for the average American dropped 30%. That's one-third, okay? So if you're making $200, we'll say, well, you know what? Let's just for the easier math. If you were making $150 a week, which was decent money back then, your pay went down to $100 a week. Now, $50 don't seem like much now, but back in the 70s, $50 was considerably more. Um, and when you lose that $50... You know, you're hurting because you're used to living on one income and now you're working out with less of an income. And they didn't take the money away from you. They just didn't give you raises. So when you're, you know, or when you lost your job and you started to go to do another one, you'd have to get a lower wage because you had illegal immigrants that would do the same job for a whole lot less. So, you, you know, it worked out poorly. These are not acceptable. I can't count those. So it works out economically as a disaster for American people. On top of that, these people want medical care. They want housing. They want food. Yes, you can. They want food. They want this, and they want that. And they're getting... And they're getting it for free <clears throat> when people like you and me have to go out and work. Then, on top of that, they apply for Social Security Insurance, SSI, or just plain old Social Security. And this is money that working people have put in for their retirement. And now they're collecting that money that you put in. They're collecting money from the Medicare, Medicaid that you put in. Remember that Medicare tax that sits there on your pay stuff? They collect the health benefits from that. 
Now, everyone says, well, you know, it's not a benefit. Well, yeah, it is. It is a benefit. You pay into it. It's an entitlement for when you retire or when things are bad. Okay? We all have our times when things aren't so good for us financially, where we need medical insurance and we don't have a job to get get it, or we have a job that doesn't offer it. You know, we need this stuff. This is the stuff that we pay into. And these illegal immigrants are coming and taking it. So let's think about this for a minute. If I give somebody a dollar to hold on to for later, and he divides it up amongst a bunch of people, how much of that dollar am I going to get back? It's simple, simple math. Say he, say he gets it, I give him a dollar, and there's 10 people trying to collect from that dollar, I'm going to end up with 10 cents. Or he's going to go into debt. <clears throat> now let's talk about the debt. Last I heard, we're at over $21 trillion. That's an awful lot of debt. If you sat down and figured it out, that's several thousand for each man, woman, and child in this country. Legal man, woman, and child in this country. All right. You can't count the illegals because you don't know how many there are. They say there's this many million, but you don't know that because they're sneaking over the border all the time. One more load. They're sneaking over the border all the time. How many people? Just five. Okay. And make them big. Go. And I'm sorry about these interruptions. The fact is... We can't have open borders if we're going to survive as a country. The fact is, if we lose the Second Amendment rights, we lose all our rights. It's, it's a simple deal. The Second Amendment and the First Amendment is what keeps the rest of our Bill of Rights together. Without them, we have nothing. You lose them, you lose them all. Because it ain't going to take much for us to lose the rest of them. They've already started trying to, they've been chipping away at our Second Amendment for decades. They're chipping away at our First Amendment, and they're really chipping away at it now, calling everything that you say hate speech. All right? They're trying to take all that away. But once you lose them, Hillary Clinton even went after the women's rights to vote. Really? Anybody that doesn't believe me, just think about what she said back here, oh, about three months ago, four months ago, maybe five. Women voted for Trump because their husbands and bosses in other men in their life told them to. That's an attack on women's rights to vote. I know it doesn't seem like a big attack. It's still an attack. It's the start. All right? Just like it was a start when they first made you get uh, a permit for handguns, it was a start on the, of an attack on your Second Amendment rights. When they start hollering about hate speech because they don't like what you're saying... That's an attack on your First Amendment rights. When they sit there and sue people because they don't want to provide um, services to someone they don't agree with or it goes against their religion, that's an attack on your First Amendment rights, your freedom of religion. And the example I'm talking about is the cake makers. They chose not to make a cake for a um, gay couple ceremony. They would sell them a cake, but they weren't going to make a wedding cake for them because it was against their religion, and they got sued. Fortunately, it, they finally won their, they won against the lawsuit, but at the same time, how, many, how much money did they have to spend to defend themselves? They shouldn't have had to have done that at all. And here they are having to. So if you think about it, if you really think about it, your Bill of Rights are under attack. All your... God-given rights that their government recognized in this country was first formed are under attack. And if you don't believe me, sit back idly and say, it's okay, and see where you end up. It's not going to be a good place. Now, I'm going to fight for our rights, but I, I can't do it alone. There's a lot of people out there willing to fight for the rights. What we need to do is come together and do what's right and what's legal to defend our rights. 
to stop the infringement on our Second Amendment, to stop the infringement on our First Amendment, to stop the infringement on all of them. But I'm telling you, once we lose the First and Second, this country's we're going to lose them all. It's a domino effect. If you don't believe me, think about it for a while. All right? Look at Germany during World War II. Look at uh, Angola. Look at all these places where dictators are now ruling. First thing they did was they took away the guns. They took away the free speech. Everything else went to pop. So, with that being said, think about it for a while. You'll know what I'm talking about. You, Deep down inside, even those of you who have a college education but lost your common sense, put it together. It's not a difficult thing to do. I'm a high school educated, and I can do it. If you give up your borders, you give up your rights, and you will have a dictatorship. You will have a tyranny government. Or you'll end up with anarchy. And that's not what our country's about. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.